Gamers on Games is sponsored in part by... I'm Lynn from Metalhead Minis. Great to meet you. Uh, be sure to check us out online at metalheadminis.com. You can find out more about our services, such as miniature painting. We also do consignment. We also teach at local game stores. Be sure to check us out at metalheadminis.com. Thanks for having me. Hi, this is Dennis with 3D Game Gear. We are gamers with a family-run business that specialize in 3D printed accessories for board games. We offer a wide range of items, including tokens, token cups, token boxes, player dashboards, and much more. We are always adding new items to enhance your gaming experience, so come check us out at the address below. And by viewers like you. Gen Con, we thought we'd have maybe a few hundred, ended up with a few thousand. 
Oh, it's so, the Titan Con is really big. So. Yeah, that's that was the biggest show we've ever been to, uh, and that overwhelmed us for months. Wow. Uh, but we've expanded and upgraded since then to accommodate shows like that. What makes the internet a better option for pictures? Well, it's really the personalization. There's no other company that will allow you to become an actual miniature. Uh, you can buy custom miniatures, you can convert miniatures exactly how you like it, but there's no way for you to actually enter the game except through us. There's no way to beat you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So if you're playing a game like Dungeons and Dragons or Pathfinder, your character represents you, but your miniature, even if it looks somewhat like what you envision your character to be, it's, it's not, not you. Exactly. It's not actually it's not you. you. With this, you can actually lead your, you know, lead your armies across the table, uh, regardless of what game you're playing, or you yourself can charge into a dungeon and fight a dragon. You get that feel of actually killing that creature or becoming you know, <laughs> yeah, it, it puts a lot more emphasis on your miniature when it's you. Yeah. So it's it's really a great personal touch and gets people add a little more depth of role play. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, and also with the sculpting options we have, we can transform someone. So if someone thinks that uh, you know, they want to be a half-orc, well, we can still turn you into a half-orc with your sculpting. Uh, give it, give it the key, yeah, yeah, the, the kind of the big Cody facial features. Exactly. It'll still be recognizable as you, uh, but we can sort of transform you. Yeah. In the same way that this technology is used in Hollywood to transform someone special effects for a movie. Yeah. We can do the same thing for you to make your miniature. It's really cool. Thank you. You can draw both the edit miniatures. We actually have had a few requests for that. At Gen Con, there were uh, three friends that came to us and they said, we want to make a miniature, but we just want a single miniature of all of us. So we created what we called the three-headed giant for them, which was the three amigos on one giant barbarian model. Uh, it is by far our favorite model from <laughs> Gen Con. I bet. Yeah, we're probably going to release it as part of our actual lineup of miniatures because it's just so much fun. I bet it looks really cool. It is, it is. <laughs> this has been Blake with Gamers on Games. I'd like to fit in miniatures. Thank you so much. Thank you. Just a reminder that everything you see here on Gamers on Games is made possible by patrons like you. Why not check out our Patreon page? It would really help us out.